This particular room that we're standing in right now is about 145 feet below surface. Having refrigeration inside a cave, wrong? <laughs> it's a mine. <laughs> you almost forget that you are actually in a mine. We're in a cold storage facility that is in the process of becoming cooler. The rock retains a lot of the temperature. It bleeds into it pretty deeply over time and takes some time to cool down, but once it is in there, it holds te temperature really well. Uh, it can help with some of the energy issues you deal with in cold storage facilities in that it kind of acts like a big cooler. Our customer here that we're in this facility is Cold Solutions at Rush Creek, and our task here as a contractor was to build this facility out from an unfinished mine to a complete frozen foods and refrigerated space. We're almost two million square feet in here. In the process of going through the engineering criteria, we chose to go with a brine and an ammonia as a primary refrigerant, brine is secondary. And the reason that we did that was for safety. When we first started this project, we looked at steel and the timeline for the welding, the size, the weight, the distances that we had to run, I was quickly looking for another solution. I had used CoolFit in the past with great results, so I chose to go down that road again, and that was a, a very good decision for us. It's considerably lessened our time of installation. It's a more efficient product, comes in one piece. As soon as you put that pipe up, you're done with it. Where we normally take weeks for an installation crew to come back through, we were able to start up within 24 hours of being completely piped. Some of our challenges early on were just understanding the product. There was some change in design and, and the processes in doing it. The team came in, they gave us new training, they certified us. We took every one of our team members through that. The support received from George Fisher was from engineering to distribution, constant communication between everyone involved from the beginning when we first started discussing the project to the last fitting being delivered on site. From an operational standpoint, it made really good sense. From a maintenance standpoint, when you look at not ever having to do a non-destructive test, and some of the other things that have to go along with the steel pipe, the corrosion, or brine. It's a huge advantage and very low maintenance. We are underground, so we don't get the sun and we don't get the wind, but we still have the temperature loss to pipe. I was very quick to take some measurements to see what we actually have. To date, our longest run is 1,600 feet, and we see just under three degrees of temperature loss at the longest point. One nice thing about being in a mine is that we will stabilize through the summer months and not see much increase, where an above ground facility would see a large increase through the summer months. Utility bills today are about 23 to 24 percent under what we had predicted. On a cooling line, the control of the flow is fundamental. If you don't have the right flow, you will not have the right amount of cooling. Therefore, the type of valves, the valve system that you choose, is going to play an important role on the efficiency and operation of the whole system. CRS decided to use the system of valves that the CoolFit line has. I would recommend in any application that you could use CoolFit to give it an opportunity. I believe that you would be very happy with that. Looking forward into this industry, labor is a huge issue. And that has been my number one battle for a number of years now. The pipe fitting industry is struggling in terms of getting people into it. And steel pipe is heavy, hard to handle. This technology to me has a huge future. And I believe that as engineers become more accustomed to it, it's gonna be the product of the future.